What's up, guys? It's Funtuniac96 here, and I'm with Big Mike. Hey. Hey, and so through an unnamed source today, I got myself a DualShock 4 controller. Now, this is actually really exciting because I originally wanted to have Sony release a controller before anything else because I just wanted to feel that thing. So I'm really excited to feel it, and um, I'm going to show you after I unbox it, show you what's inside, and we can give our opinions um, on the controller itself. We will show you some how it works on the PC and how it works on the PlayStation 3. So, all right, here we go. Let's get on it. All righty. So, unfortunately, I got a little bit of damage, but, I mean, it looks pretty well packed, so I have nothing to worry about. Now we get to see how good Patrick is at unlocking. There stuff. we go. Unboxing. Unboxing, yeah. unlocking. God, I'm so bad. All right, here we go. So, oh, ta-da! All righty. So... Plastic cover removed. Removed. And I'm touching it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, I got some stuff there. Whatever. This, this feels good. This feels exactly how I wanted it to feel. <laughs> like, okay, like when I had an Xbox 360 controller, what I would do is it, it just seems so rounded that it felt weird in my hand and off, also the offset sticks. So this feels really good. The thumb, the everything's there. It has a little place where you can, like, fit your fingers. I, I don't know, it feels like that. And so yeah, we have a PlayStation, or uh, we have a 360 controller, I don't have an Xbox One. I'm not going to be getting one. Anyway, yeah, so we have this, and oh, man, this feels nice. And to compare it, most people have already seen it compared to the PlayStation 3, but doing the comparison in person, this is big. Um, I mean, like this thing, it feels small. I mean, it feels good, but... Definitely small. Compared to the DualShock 4, it feels cheap. It's a little he the DualShock 4 is a little heavier, but that's good. I mean, it, it rests in your hand really well. I do like that it has um, the R1 and R2 or R2 and R uh, L2 um, curved like that. I like that for shooters. I preferred that on the 360. But the major difference between this, the triggers on the 360, and the triggers on the DualShock 4 is this is just like a little, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Slippery? It's it's not, yeah, it's slippery, it's not textured, and it's just like a, a, a button. I don't, obviously it's a button. But this feels a little bit more contoured to the finger, and it, I like it, personally. Um, so anyway, I'm going to let Mike touch it. Hmm. I normally don't use PS PlayStation PC. controllers, so I'm used to Xbox. <clears throat> It's definitely much better than Xbox. It fits in my hand, unlike the big fat Xbox, which feels like your hands are trying to figure out how to get around it. It's much nicer. The touchpad is... I can't wait to start using that. That'll blow my mind, probably. You're going to have to come to my house for that, too. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to come to your house now more. Also, a cool feature Patrick forgot to show is, if I can figure out, is it flashes, but it's got this cool light blue. So... Yeah. And most of and most most, things, most of you have probably seen this stuff before because I mean there are there have been showings of it but I really wanted to do an unboxing and then so this part most of you have seen but now you're going to see something that not many people have seen yet and that's using it on the PC and using it on the PlayStation 3 so I'm going to show you Crisis 3 or whatever game I pick whatever and I'll show you another game on here it should work so I'm excited all right let's check that out now we're going to show you some gameplay with the PS4 controller being used on the PC, and we're playing Battlefield 3 right now. So what the thing is, you have to uh, you have to map out the buttons for the game. It doesn't automatically do it for you, which is kind of a disappointment. I hope Sony comes out with a driver for it sometime. But um, also another thing you want to know is the touchpad does count as a button, which I like. Um, so I use it as the interact button because you're touching something, interact with it. Um, the other thing, very important. This, the uh, charging port for the DualShock 4 is not the same um, as it was on the DualShock 3. So there's a picture up right now showing you what the new one looks like. And, I mean, I, I'm sure it's very easy to get the charge for, charger for it. I mean, Ethan got one for a phone. Um, another quick thing. Using the triggers is a little bit weird at first, but you can get, a whole, you can get the hang of it. Um, so anyway, enough said. I'm going to start doing some gameplay. So let's go. I really shouldn't be getting this close crap. Let's see, where are you? No, I want to just read two people. Oh, there we go.
One of the things about the controller that is kind of also you got to get used to is the new thumbsticks. The stumps, the uh, analog sticks, they're kind of weird. I mean, they're smaller than the DualShock 3s, and they also, um, and also they're indented, which is kind of, I mean, as someone who played primarily on the DualShock 3, it is a little bit uncomfortable at first, but you kind of get used to it. So that's another thing you might want to look out for. Alright, I'm just going to clear this out, and then I think we'll move on to... Uh, actually, I'll throw a grenade. Ooh, I got him. Okay, cool. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for the DualShock 4 gameplay on the, P, uh, the PC. But And also, by the way, it does work for Mac, and I think there is a video out showing you that. Um, but now we're going to show you what it's like on the PS3. Hey guys, so this is PlayStation 3 gameplay with the DualShock 4. Now, one of the things we wanted to do, we tried using the touchpad. It has absolutely no functionality at all, which kind of sucks, and I didn't expect them to. But um, the options button is the start button, and the share button is select. That I know for sure. And another thing I tried doing was seeing if they actually made R R2 and L2 anything, but they didn't. So it's it's L1 and uh, R1 for shooting, at least for Uncharted 3. So um, anyway, that's good to know. So here's some gameplay. Another thing I noticed as well is when you press L, um, when you press or when you yeah when you do the right joystick uh, and you press down on it. Uh, for like a sprint, it doesn't work that well. It's like not as responsive. So that might be an issue with either the controller or just, just I don't know, uh, a technical issue. So how am I gonna? How am I supposed to get there? Do I sprint? I sprint. I feel like I sprint. No, I don't want to sprint because our I'm taking a risk. I'm taking a risk. Go for it. No, I can't. It's not letting me sprint. How do I sprint? Let's go. No, come on. Come on now. Oh, this sucks. So, I'm supposed to jump. Oh, I got it. I was, I'm was. i surprised with myself. Pat on the back, Patrick. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, leave your comments letting me know what you think, what you want to see next, and what you think of the DualShock 4. So now, I finally got all four of my controllers here. Uh, it's really good. Now, I just need my PS4. Alright, thanks guys, and have a good day.